Hey guys, Nicole and Albert here from Relax My Dog. So we're back again with another Relax My Dog vlog. We're here every week answering your questions about dogs and about how to look after them. This week we're going to be answering Imogen's question from the last vlog, which is how to prepare for your first dog. We really hope you enjoy the video. Uh, if you do, give us a big thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed, then make sure that you click that button. So one of the first things that you need to consider before getting a dog is the time and lifestyle implications that it's going to have on you. If you're one of these people that work for 20 hours a day, then having a dog probably isn't the best bet for you. You need to consider the amount of time that they're going to be on their own throughout the day, or whether you've got a dog-friendly office, like ours, which is great. Having a dog is a lot of work, and you really need to consider this before you commit to having one. Which leads me on to my next point. Many people will get a dog and they won't consider these lifestyle implications, and they will end up giving away their dog. So this leads to thousands of dogs in the UK every week being given up for adoption. So could you be one of the people that rescue or rehome a dog? It does take a lot of work and sometimes it can be harder to train them when they're a little bit older. But I did the same with Albert. I rehomed Albert at four months and now nine months old and he is perfect. Now the next step is choosing your breed. And this can take a lot of time and effort. And you might want to spend some time with the breeds as well just to make sure that they are the right breed for you. There's a lot of things to consider, allergies if you have any, uh, the temperament of the dog, the size of the dog um, in comparison to your living accommodation, um, and the amount of exercise that they need as well. Will that fit in with your daily routine? Will it fit in with your schedule? So once you've decided on the right breed for you, you then need to safety check your house before your dog comes home. Especially if you're getting a puppy, they will investigate everything with their noses and their mouths. So if there's anything dangerous out, cleaning products, etc. Or anything expensive that you don't want to get chewed, you need to make sure that these are not within the puppy's reach. So personally, I think a really, really important thing to happen before you bring your puppy home is buying a crate. I've crate trained Albert and he was at four months and it really wasn't that difficult. At first, they will whine, they will whimper. Um, it's not normal for them to be left alone when they're that age, so it is gonna be quite a stressful time for them. But once they are trained, they will end up seeing that crate as a safe place that's gonna be their little house. So just persevere with it and it will make your training so much easier and it will make a lot easier to make your dog the perfect dog for you. So another really important thing to research before you bring your dog home is service providers, any people that you're going to need to take care of your dog. So you've got the obvious, you need a veterinarian, um, that's a very very important thing and it's something that I did quite a lot of research on. It needs to be the right price, it needs to be the right person more importantly. Um, I wanted to speak to the vets, I wanted to speak to the nurses um, and I wanted to make sure that I trusted them with my animal. Other service providers that you may need, dog sitter, dog walker, dog groomer, all of these people, you need to find out more about them. You need to find out whether you trust them. Think about it like a baby. Would you trust your baby with a stranger? No, you wouldn't. It's exactly the same for dogs. So um, I wanted to speak to them. I wanted to find out more about them. Um, a really good thing to do is find out references as well and speak to people who have used them as service providers in the past. Um, and this will give you a really honest opinion about their service and about how they treat animals. The final piece of advice that I'll give you before bringing your dog home is to establish some kind of routine with his primary caregivers. So this may just be you, it may be you and your partner, it may be you, your partner, your children. You need to make sure that he knows who's going to feed him, when he's going to be fed, what he's going to be fed, when he's going on a walk, where he's going to be kept when you're out. Everything like this needs to be decided before he comes home because there's nothing more important than having an established routine for your puppy. This is how you're going to train him, this is how he's going to learn to not misbehave. It's really important to decide where he's going to sleep, whether he's going to be in a crate or just in a dog bed. Um, if he's going to be in a crate, where's the crate going to be? Is it going to be downstairs? Is it going to be in a bedroom? All of these things, your dog needs to know exactly what's going to go on. He needs to know his routine and this will stop any misbehaviour and it will make training so much easier for you. So there's some of my top tips on things that you need to do before getting a dog. There's a lot to think about, there really is, but 
People spend years preparing for a baby and you kind of have to think about it as the same thing. There's a lot of people that just go out and buy a dog on a whim and this is just not how it's supposed to be. You need to be prepared, make sure that you've got his collar, make sure you've got his name tag, make sure that everything is sorted before he comes home and he's sure to be a very happy puppy. So we really hope that you found this video useful. Let us know what kind of dog that you do decide to get and let us know if any of the tips that you have worked or if you've got any extra things to add. We also love hearing your suggestions and that's usually what we base our vlogs on. So if you have any suggestions for future vlogs or you want to know anything about care of dogs, just let us know in the comments section and we'll get back to you. If you did enjoy the video, please give us a nice thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you do. And from me and Albert here at Relax My Dog, we'll see you again next week for the next vlog. Bye!